Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Dave, so thank you so much. This is from Spellbound in New Jersey and this is It's Not it's not yours, it's Mayan. Third anniversary Imperial Stout, uh, beer brewed with Acho chilies, bittersweet dark chocolate, uh, this is something, 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 vanilla beans, barrel something, something. Okay, so uh, barrel aged and a lot of bunch of adjuncts, so uh, pours in really dark. Uh, thank you so much, Dave, uh, for this one and actually I'm enjoying this on Thanksgiving. Uh, just cooked for the family and then uh, what ends up happening is everybody's home so they end up coming over uh, we uh, share a few beers and then um, I still have a bunch of leftovers so if they want to enjoy some of that they can enjoy some of that so that's what's happening tonight beer is very dark coats the glass has that kind of Bourbon County 1050 uh, kind of oily action let's get the aroma on this one yeah smells um what is that the peppers yeah pepper has a hint of a like earthy spice character actually more like fruity pepper spice character yeah, a lot of the pepper. And then, am I getting the chocolate too? Vanilla? Yeah. Those flavors playing around. There's a little bit of that roasted malt quality. Some chocolate. It smells decently sweet. Um, pretty interesting nose. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Um, big pepper flavor up front. Uh, not heat. Just ancho pepper flavor. So think of your moles. Um, just get that kind of like dried, um, lingering, dark pepper, ancho uh, pepper flavor. Really, not really heat to speak of, but really that kind of just like length of like dark flavor that really complements and plays with the dark malts very well. Uh, does well with the chocolate in this beer. Get this nice kind of bittersweet dark chocolate as they call it um, in the middle, just like biting into it, like a big hunk of just dark chocolate. Vanilla riding throughout. Uh, mouth feels pretty decent. There's a nice sweetness on this one too. Maybe a little bit of dark fruit and raisin. There's actually a decent amount of bitterness on this one. I'm assuming it might be either from the coffee or the pepper. This beer introduces you with pepper flavor, but also reasonable bitterness. Really something to counteract how sweet this beer could be. 11.5% super dangerous. And as you wait, you're just actually just get, getting more and more of that kind of mole, ancho pepper, um, like dried and burnt slightly kind of flavor. Uh, if you like your mole and you really like the flavor of that kind of dried ancho, uh, ancho uh, pepper, you're really gonna like this one because it really is, I would say, the theme of this uh, beer. Mm. I'm not necessarily getting barrel character off of this one. Maybe the, maybe on the back end, uh, the drying that I'm getting is possibly some tannic structure too from some uh, wood or oak. Uh, but it's not obviously a very um, uh, oak forward or barrel forward beer. If anything, it might be something that they put in barrels for a short amount of time and probably not wet barrels because I'm not getting a lot of kind of um, bourbon character, whiskey character, rum character, whatever they could have used. Um, very nice stuff. I, I think this is a, you know, a nice beer to share. Really nice pepper flavor integrated into it. A nice base out driving in there. It's not a diabetes sweet beer, so that's pretty nice. Um, it's nice, that's her rating. Let's go with a 92 on this one. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. I'm, I'm liking this, I'm really liking this. Actually, 94. Uh, it's not yours, it's mine. Absolutely fantastic, thank you guys uh, so much. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, thank you, David. Until next time, cheers, later.